Avant-garde art lovers converge on a beachside gallery to rediscover the grim, gritty pop sculptures of the once notorious Los Angeles beat generation artist Ed Keenholz and to gasp at how the prices of his work have soared. Son of a Washington State wheat farmer, Keenholz scandalized the L.A. County Museum of Art in 1964 with his graphic Backseat Dodge 38. From 1972 to his death in 1994 at age 66, Keenholz collaborated in his art with his fifth wife, Nancy Redden Keenholz. Ed Keenholz had a love-hate relationship with American television because of what he called its 95% trash content. Thirteen of the couple's 30 works created around TV sets are in this exhibit, running through April 6th. For $90,000, you can buy Ed Keenholz's Solid State, partly set in concrete, or his cement TV. The assemblage called Queen Anne will set you back a mere $85,000. At a quarter of a million dollars, the partner's bronze late work, The Newses, comments on the copycat shallowness of the three major broadcast networks news programs. Nancy Keenholz's 2006 creation, Home Sweet Home, the only work here entirely by her. She controls her late husband's estate. Husband and wife's 1984 drawing for the Herrengracht No. 1, offered for $175,000. Same asking price for their useful art No. 1, a no-holds-barred depiction of what television uh, excretes. For $1,200,000, the show's Pièce de Résistance, the 1982 mixed-media bout round 11. A life-size man and woman ignore each other while a snarling dog emerges from the TV screen. Though the art is more sordid than pretty, it's good to see Ed Keenholz back in the spotlight again, along with his wife.